I will now talk about the applications of neural networks. So now you know what they are, where they fit, how they work, how they're structured. Uh, you know about the different types of neural networks, and you know how they are trained. Now that you know all of that, why is it useful to you specifically? So I did briefly talk about uh, the language processing, the audio processing, the, the video processing. But let's talk more about its applications. So you can truly understand the how widespread the use of neural networks is, how so many different industries, if not all in this world, are using neural networks and are using deep learning in order to make better predictions, to understand their uh, data better. So let's learn about some applications. So the first is classification and regression. You can classify data, you can carry out regression on that data, you can process and generate images, audios and videos. As you all know, and have probably used GPTs, uh, such as ChatGPT, Go if you're in Hong Kong. Uh, there are just so many different tools out there, so many different GPTs out there that are used for image processing, audio processing, video processing. You can create text which uh, mimics that of a human being. You can create audio, you can create deep fake. That's all done by neural networks. You can also carry out natural language processing, which is understanding human languages, uh, which is the ability of computers to understand human languages, such as any language really, English, uh, Chinese, Hindi, French, German, doesn't matter. You can also do that. They can also use in translation. You can translate from each language to another. Uh, and you can also model languages. So what that means is you can find, for example, if in English, the word for, if in English is called a school, and another language is called something else, then the difference between both of those words and those languages will correlate to the difference in those languages. So for each word, if you've mapped it here for English and here for Chinese, this will be the same distance for each and every word. So the English word and the Chinese word will have the exact same distance. Uh, another application is dimensionality reduction. So you can do anomaly detection or denoising. So as you can see in this image over here, we have these uh, images which are not that clear, they have lots of noise, uh, they're very uh, pixelated, they're not that clear. We can use a neural network to create the image in a more refined way, make it more clear, remove any noise. And that is a very uh, important application of neural networks as well. Uh, we can also be using gaming. So you can use it for non-playable character behavior. So say you have a main character in a game, that you're developing, you can also use your networks to uh, sort of code the behavior of any background, unnecessary, non-playable characters within the game. You can also use your networks for testing and development. Uh, and this goes not just for gaming, but for other applications as well. You can also use it for financial forecasting, so predicting trends, forecasting stock prices and risk. Uh, so in banking and financial services, uh, you can use your networks as well. And another very important application which I've identified, which I've mentioned over here, is the use of neural networks in autonomous vehicles. So they can be used for navigation. So in order to understand where to turn left, right, or straight, take a U-turn, look a roundabout, a reverse, or park, or whatever. You can also make a decision. So you can decide whether to brake, accelerate, or adjust the steering angle of the car. So. Uh, that's one use of the networks within autonomous vehicles. And it's also used for environment perception, so you can understand if a car is coming very far, uh, very close to you, whether to, if you're about to crash, whether to turn left, whether to brake the car, or whatever. Uh, and these are just some applications I've mentioned. Of course, as I said, neural networks are used in every single industry in this world. They're used in medicine, in, uh, in dentistry, well, that is just a little gray area, but in medicine, in uh, education, in business, in sales, in marketing, uh, in almost everything, neural networks are the use and applications are widespread.